Hell, hell, Mr. Coleman. Thank you for seeing me. No problem at all. I, I just want to get this over with as quickly as possible. Completely understandable. Now, you were telling me about um, the whole contract, how this is my understanding. By you signing this, you're going to be the full proprietor of the entire company. Do you have any problems with this? or No, none at all. I just... I, I felt like it was really hard to keep working with each other in this capacity, and I just need to move on. Do you have any grievances about this? No, we just we just worked, started working on too many projects, and we couldn't prioritize each other's projects, and just became a whole mess. I'm sorry, but um, you're not seeing this as a project. I mean, I thought you only had one project. Okay, oh, yeah. uh, we had we did multiple projects, but only one that we commercially released. It was the uh, differences in thoughts about the other projects that split us up like this. And you're not profiting off of this? <coughs> not off the other projects, um, but the the conflict between Brian and myself led to the split up. Right, right. What about Adam? You haven't mentioned Adam yet. Adam was very fundamental in the founding of the process, and the founding of the company, but he just didn't really stay in the fold for too long, you know? So you're kind of viewing this Adam as like a non-person? No, he's just, he's just not really in the fold anymore. He's sort of like the other people that came and went out of it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So let's go over other people. Um, okay, so we had, we had various coders, musicians, artists. They had various positions. They would all came and did work for us. But they don't have any stock in the company. Yeah, but they were there. I mean, let me just set this straight. There's other people that you mentioned right now. Do you think any of these people may be a liability or a threat? My ex, she was one who I started the comp company with, and she gave me the original code that we almost used for the product. Just from my personal opinion, as a lawyer, you're sitting on a landline. I, I, I promise him not. She signed a contract saying she had no stake in the company, and when we finally released the product, none of her original code was used. I don't know. I think you should definitely be worried of it. No, I'm not, I don't really be worried of it. I only really told you because it might influence how this goes. Alright. Well, I mean, what about Brian, though? You said you were mentioning Brian before. Brian just had a very aggressive personality and he made it seem he just seemed very aggressive and angry and judgmental towards Adam and myself. Okay, so you're saying Brian was the judgmental one. Yes. But yes, I, I mean I'm not blameless, but he definitely made it a more hostile environment to be in. Okay. And uh, his temper and his hostility probably led to the breakup, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, we both have we both have very similar personalities but on a slightly more passive. So we just couldn't keep going like this. So I decided I just need to break everything off and continue with this company on my own. Well, that's all I got here. I mean, it sounds like you got settled. You know what? I'll get back to you on the paperwork, and uh, soon you'll be the sole owner of the company. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Thank you so much. Pleasure doing business. I hope you do fantastic in your future endeavors.